I know what you're thinking. Oh, it's that off-world live guy with another series of breakthrough tutorials, all excited again about something. Well, sorry not sorry, yes, I'm really excited again. And this time, <laughs> I'm really excited about end display. This is actually very, very breakthrough. I've been chatting to loads of people in the industry of virtual production and other people that are just using end display for their kind of projects. And I've realized that the Offworld Live Toolkit is incredibly useful once again. The simplicity and flexibility of the Offworld Live Render Target workflow totally lends itself to end display. And as a result, there's a load of tricks you can use to really easily capture your real-time workflows direct to disk or stream them out via Spout, NDI, SRT, RTMP, etc. Flexibility is unreal. So whether you're looking at outputting via Spout or NDI, or saving directly to disk, either your inner frustum or any of your viewports, either during sequence shots, in editor or at runtime, or even during switchboard launched remote sessions, this series is gonna go through how to do all of that. So I'm gonna go through this series to show you some stuff about end display workflows in general. And by the end of it, we should really understand how the render target workflow and end display can be combined to really harness some creative powers in these real time workflows. And also I'm just gonna show you this fun example of making a real time anamorphic billboard, but it's playable. So you could be sat in the corner playing this uh, anamorphic billboard game, sending it out via end display to multiple computers to render out different parts of the giant, giant screens you'd be playing this on. So end display is super powerful if you're looking at getting into some real time workflows or quickly writing your media to disk. I'm sorry to say it's another breakthrough. <laughs> We've totally got you covered with this. There's some awesome stuff you can do.